May the words of your mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable to you. O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Well, dear friends, once again, we give thanks to the Lord that in our earthly life he had brought us in this season of Lent. And this morning for our meditation I have uh, selected the appointed Old Testament lesson which is very familiar to all of us. We read this passage many a time in the year and at least in these days Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 5 to 10. This passage reminds us the situation 600 years before Christ when Israelites were under tremendous crisis. Jerusalem, Judea, even Temple was destroyed. And the experience of the design and the Assyria was under a lot of pressure. And Egypt and Babylon they are trying to get the control of everything. There is fighting going around. And for Israelites, it's a time of real testing. People were under a lot of pressure. Political, religious, social. And they were trying to have some sort of relief or peace, restoration. And in those days, the prophet Jeremiah, he was speaking, preaching the word of God, the message of hope under these circumstances. People were so much afraid that they were trying to have allies and even they were compromising on their faith just to have a little bit of peace And in, in those circumstances, Jeremiah spoke. He was saying the word of God. And in this passage, we can see the contrast. There are a number of lessons in this passage. But between fear and faith, in fear, People were just relying on human resources to, to control the situation, have peace and comfort. But what Jeremiah was saying, the hard words. The Lord says, I will condemn those who turn away from me and put their trust in human beings. In the strength of mortals, he is like a bush in the desert which grows in the dry wasteland, on salty ground where nothing else grows. Nothing will ever happen. 
just for time being they were just seeing that in this situation we can get rid of it and they were compromising under fear the people who have the nations who have fears they compromise even on the truth and on their belief and that what happened with the israel israelites and dear friends it's not the situation many centuries before every day we experience in our lives if we see the picture the scenario in our world that is not very much different and the alarming the challenging situation is this that even the people who are called to speak truth they compromise the people who are called be the followers or the true disciples speak truth they compromise and the crisis is everywhere day by day why the problems are coming up and in human society it is natural it's quite obvious when you speak truth people don't like that there are a number of groups those who just want to save their own position and here dear friends the word of god once again this morning especially to me and for all of us bring it before us that how we should behave and again lord god is speaking sometimes people try to be themselves to be neutralized is good but the other day one of my friends he was calling me and saying that uh, to be a neutral is one of the dangerous thing which spoils everything what we just want to save ourselves but here the word of god is calling to us to stand and it's a human nature the fear is there even we have experienced in the church life people compromised on their faith and this is one of the problem people who are called to speak truth and <clears throat> as in the lights they were making the lines they were making winding ropes who can save them but that is not the perfect thing it, it they, they are trying to seek the temporary shelter but forgetting that the lord god is there and he again calling that put your trust in me faith in me don't be afraid do not have fear come out from that fear 
if you you are rooted deeply with that long life line your roots with the lord the outside things circumstances crisis can do anything to you. if you are rooted in the lord there is a proper watching proper watching in you. your sustainability in your lord and friends this season of lent we always consider it that we spend time in prayer reflecting focusing on the word of god we try to understand the will of god his plan is this is one of the message to prophet jeremiah this morning for all of us we must put, put our trust come out from the fear of everything if we want to survive Stand. Trust in the Lord. This is the high time, the season of repentance, reconciliation, restoring our relations. Calls, invites us that we individually, corporately. we must see our relations with our lord it's not a 40 days practice it's a life long it's a lifestyle and the classic comment and the master comment of the six speaking about the change of heart and this passage ends with that that nobody can see the plans what is in the heart of man is most deceitful is like a open book before the lord our lives and here in this corner at least every day when we pray i believe that book in most of the families we will be lenten season this corner time and again we repeat making us new and contrite hearts change our hearts from fear to faith and this trust cannot be grow unless or until we have the perfect relation with our lord it's a matter of relationship and this is a call for me and call for everybody that we must come closer to the lord and he is ready to come close to us all of us he is faithful we can put our trust in him and this season of lent reminds us we must have the 
relation with you. Relationships. Every day you must build a strong relation with you. With Vidal Rome, he is calling us. Under fear. We don't want to harm and damage. The relations between people, we don't want to make other people angry. And this is the story, this is the picture of our society. People are compromising even on truth. But blessed are those who don't compromise on truth. Sometime, this is my experience, and you all have this experience. When you speak truth, in worldly people say that you are all alone. But when the Lord is standing with you, you are not all alone. If we want to really have the repentance and reconciliation, we and we want to develop the true relation with our Lord, put our trust in our Lord. There are a number of problems, challenges. Pains and suffering around us. And people want to have a little bit of peace. But Lord promised that He will give us His perfect peace. Have put your trust in the Lord. And He will heal. He can heal, He can restore everything. <laughs> Let's commit ourselves, put our trust in our Lord. Be strong in the Lord. He is with us, standing with us. The Lord of Lords and King of Kings is with us. King of Universe is with us. Today again he is calling. Come unto me, all who labor and a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If you want the peace in our society, if you want to have peace everywhere, come to the Lord. He will bless all of us. Peace and peace.